Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we are in our downtown Lansing studios, but we are venturing, as a matter of fact, across town mostly. Luann Dunsford is uh, joining us right now. She's the chief executive officer right now of the Michigan Works Association. And uh, Luann, you can explain what I mean by right now. Welcome to the show. As always, it's great to see you. Chris, thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to be on the show. Yeah, the exciting um, announcement is as of June 30th, I will no longer be the chief executive officer of Michigan Works Association. It's been an incredible run. I've been here for 22 years, first as the controller and the last 15 years as CEO, and it has been an honor. And I'm looking forward to the future, not only for the association and the Michigan Works Network and everything that they have to bring, but also for me kind of spreading my wings a little bit and adventuring out into the world. Well, listen, I am in awe of you because I just found out off air about the car accident you had. And you are sitting here right now with that wonderful smile and I'm sure some pretty deep pain. And, and we appreciate you taking the time to kind of share with us. Thank you. You know, I have always said that every day is a gift. I, I say it wherever I go. And with this most recent um, collision that we had that was quite serious, uh, a head-on collision on the highway when another driver crossed the median, uh, my family and I are okay. We're going to heal in time, but it really does galvanize and clarify what really is important. And, um, you know, we just take every day and, and move forward with it. Well, let's go to something that has been important to you, and that is your work at the, uh, at the Michigan Works Association. So let's go back and do a little reminiscing here. Give us, give us a few high points and a few things that, that you've learned. Well, I can tell you when I stepped into workforce development, which is, as is uh, for many people, it was accidental. I came on as the controller and I had no clue. And this is way before the demand-driven definition. And I just thought, holy cow, what am I, what am I into? And about six months into it, I went to the annual event that we have is the Impact Awards. It was called Something Different Then. And I saw 25 different people get up and tell their story. And they all said the same thing. If it wasn't for Chris at Michigan Works telling me that I could make it, I wouldn't be here. And the barriers that they overcame were incredible. And it changed me. It was a seismic shift. And I stepped back and took a look and said, hey, so, Luann, people don't have the same start and if they have the brass in their spine to achieve and they want a better life and if we can give them some resources and give them support and put that together watch the magic that happens and it's great yeah uh, it's a, it's pretty amazing i i have emceed a few of those annual meetings and and been fortunate to be present at, at others and just the heartwarming you know you feel like you're doing god's work because you're giving them a reason to, to, have, to have a reason, you know? Well, and it's generational. So when you have adults in the household that are prospering and thriving, our talent pipeline also has the same opportunity. And then now that we've switched to this demand-driven philosophy in about 2012, our employers, which are key to all of this, if you know what your employers want, you can help people get there more efficiently, more effectively. And then you've got communities thriving and prospering, not only right now, but in the future with the talent pipeline coming up. It's pretty powerful. You know, it's, it's interesting because you were one of the uh, uh, frontiers people that actually kind of made the Michigan Works Association and its members aware of the fact that there are two customers at every Michigan Works office. And one of them is the people who come in in need, but the mm -hmm. other is the business community who supplies their need. Absolutely. And I remember really that discussion, it was quite the shift and it wasn't smooth. We had, we had people to, to understand what that meant. And there were some Michigan Works directors who really fought hard to say, this is the right thing to do. And once we understood, you're not leaving the vulnerable behind at all. In fact, you are able to serve them, more of them, more effectively, more efficiently, and um, you know, get your community partners involved. And it's the right thing to do. And your employers, the more that they can thrive and open up and grow and have their businesses 
prosper, they can open up entry level positions and give other people a chance to come in and work. Well, I'm hoping that we hear what you're going to be going into next because you are far too young to take yourself out of the talent supply uh, chain. So. Right. Well, my love is small business and I want to get out there and help them thrive as well. So my new company, Starlight Solutions for you, I'm going to be bringing joy and energy to the workplace and delivering practical solutions that you can use right now. Excellent stuff. Breaking news right here on the Michigan Business Network. We got we got the insight into what you're going to be doing next. And, and this is important when I send you this message. Make sure you continue to keep us updated on what you're doing so we can have you on and talk about small business issues because we're all involved in them. Thank you so much. I sure will. Well, it's been wonderful serving with you. It really has. And I look forward to the remaining time, but we're going to be friends for life. So we'll, uh, we'll keep that on the agenda. Thank you so much. All right. Luann Dunsford, who's uh, head of the uh, ex chief executive of the uh, Michigan Works Association. Uh, continued good luck to you. You are all watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman. We'll be back with more right after this.